In this problem, we have a force F. It has two components. One is along the U direction. The other one is along the V direction. And the magnitude of the force component along the U direction is a 6 kN. We need to determine the magnitude of the force vector itself, as well as the magnitude of its component along the V direction. So in this problem, because this force F is the sum of two uh, force vectors, or the resultant force of two force vectors, one along the U direction, the other one is along the V direction. According to the parallelogram law for vector addition, I must be able to form parallelogram with these forces. This is FV. According to the parallelogram law, FU plus FV equals to F vector. You can draw a um, triangle rule as well. You can draw this is FU. And then your FV is in this direction. And the sum is this right here, which is the F force. So this triangle that I just draw, this smaller one right here, is the similar triangle. It's essentially the same, just on a smaller scale. The same triangle as this one. So in this triangle, the magnitudes of the two uh, component forces, Fu and Fv, and the magnitude of the original force F, they form this triangle. And what do we know about it? We know that this side right here corresponds to the magnitude of the U component, and that is a 6 kN. This angle right here is given 45 degree. And because this line and this line are parallel to each other, therefore, if this angle is 105 degree, this angle is also 105 degree. And what do we need to find out? We need to find out the magnitude of FV, which is this line right here, as well as the magnitude of F, which is this right here. So let me redraw this triangle. So as you can recognize right now, this problem has become a solving triangle problem. So if I draw this triangle right here, this is my 45 degree, and this is my 105 degree, and this right here is my 6 kN magnitude. Okay, So I need to find out Fv and F. So if I know three angles of this triangle, then naturally I know the last one. This last angle equals to 180 degree minus 45 degree minus 105 degree, and that equals to 30, 30 degree. So if I know all three angles, then I can easily use law of sines to solve this problem. So I have 6 divided by sine value of its opposite angle, which is this 105 degree angle, that must equal to Fv divided by the sine value of the angle that is opposite to Fv. So Fv is this side, so the angle opposite to that is the 45 degree angle. It also equals to F. F is this side right here divided by sine of its opposite angle, which is 30 degree. So I can use these two equations to solve for Fv, which is 6 times sine 45 degree divided by sine 105 degree, and that equals to 4.39 in the unit of kilonewton. And similarly, I can solve for F from this equation and this equation, which is a 6 times sine 30 degree divided by sine 105 degree, and that is 3.11 kilonewton. So to solve this problem, you need to apply 
what you learned about the parallelogram law or the triangle rule for vector addition to correctly draw the triangle out. After you have drawn the triangle, you recognize that this has become a solving triangle. It's a trigonometry problem now. And then from here, we apply law of sines. Uh, for some problems, you need to apply law of cosines. If you do not have a pair of angle and side, in this case we do, we have a, the a magnitude 6 here and the angle that is opposite to this side. So I, we have a pair of parameters. So we can use law of sines. If we, in some cases, we do not have a pair of parameters like this, we might have to use law of cosines instead.